explaining the main functions of Rico IWB Software Suite for Windows. Just like before, the software can be configured to open automatically when starting up with Windows OPS. Here is the launcher screen that appears when the software starts. On the left is the wireless projection feature, which displays connection steps for each operating system, making it easy for anyone to connect and use. On the right is the list of applications, where frequently used apps and shortcuts can be set and displayed. 16 apps are visible at a time, but you can scroll to display up to 33. A mini launcher is also available at the bottom of the screen. The apps currently running in the background are displayed here, allowing you to switch between them. You can also split the screen to display apps side by side. If you need to enter text, you can bring up the keyboard to type. Touching the home icon will return you to the home screen. The icon on the right side of the mini launcher is the annotation tool. Pressing it enables the annotation feature, allowing you to write directly on the screen. You can choose from three colors, black, red, and blue, and write on browsers or documents. The tool also supports disappearing markers, which are ideal for presentations when you want to highlight something temporarily without making permanent marks. This is the eraser, which allows you to erase objects by touching them. The undo button lets you revert to the previous step. The capture feature lets you capture a portion of the screen or the entire screen. Captured images are inserted directly onto the whiteboard. Next, I will introduce the features of the whiteboard app. You can choose from 12 default pen colors and five thickness levels. You can write directly on the whiteboard. Touching a specific button allows you to use a translucent marker. You can select from four colors, yellow, green, blue, and pink, and five thickness levels. Shapes can also be inserted by selecting the desired shape and touching the screen. Text insertion is available, allowing you to type in 12 solid colors and four translucent colors. After selecting the text option, a keyboard will appear for entering text. The eraser can be used to remove objects by swiping over them. Additionally, tapping Delete All clears all written text and other elements at once. The disappearing marker is a useful tool for emphasizing points in presentations, as the markings vanish after a short time. The whiteboard includes back and forward buttons for navigation and a page navigation feature that allows you to move between pages by tapping thumbnails. You can also add pages by tapping the plus button with support for up to 100 pages. Anything written on the whiteboard is automatically saved. You can update the whiteboard data by tapping the save button. You can record meeting details such as the title or theme in the meeting name field and also save the date and time. You can set a password for the data if needed. Save data is automatically deleted 180 days after the meeting date, ensuring unnecessary data does not accumulate. To open save data, go to the meeting list in the whiteboard app. This will display a list of all previously saved data. Save data can be opened by tapping join. To create a new whiteboard, tap Start Meeting Now. Custom stamps can also be registered in the settings. Instructions for this are explained in a separate video. Once registered, you can insert stamps into the whiteboard. Objects on the whiteboard, including stamps, can be moved, deleted, cut, copied, and pasted. Content written on the whiteboard can also be saved as a PDF for sharing outside of the app. To do this, use the Save as PDF option, which opens Windows Explorer. Set a file name and save the file. You can open Save PDF files by navigating to them in Explorer and clicking on the file. 
Finally, I would like to introduce the wireless projection feature. This allows you to wirelessly project your device's screen onto the large screen of the IWB. The connection method depends on your device's operating system, but on-screen instructions make it easy for first-time users to connect. Let's try connecting a Windows PC to the IWB. As shown on the screen, you can connect by pressing Windows plus K. When the connection options appear on your PC, select Rico IWB under device name. The screen will switch to the wireless projection app and the content will be projected. As you can see, the PC is now wirelessly connected to the Rico IWB and its screen is being displayed on the IWB. By enabling the touchback option, bidirectional writing is possible, allowing you to operate the PC directly from the IWB.